Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In this video I'm going to be looking at how we can remove the background from uh, PNG images and JPEG images and how we can add borders. Stick with us. So let's start with the easiest image we've got here. We've got a PNG with a transparent background. So what we want to do is add a border to this. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to come down and grab the paint bucket tool. At the top, we've got a few different settings that we can adjust. The first one is fill by. This is what determines um, where the boundary is. So at the moment, it's set to visible color. If we have a look down in the list, we've got all the different channels. So we've got red, green, blue, hue, saturation and lightness. And we've got the alpha. The alpha channel is opacity. So with it now set to opacity, if we click on our cat, it selects all the areas that are fully opaque. The threshold setting is how accurate it is or what range it allows. So zero is exact, five is given a little bit of deviation, you can go anywhere up to a hundred, although as you get into the higher range anything above the forties tends to get um, prevent it from working. So we can see we've got a few little holes and things around the bottom of the cat here. So what we could do, we could increase this up to 15 or 20. I press Control Z to get rid of that and we'll have another go. So you can see we've got a slight outline around the outside, but that doesn't make any difference because we're just going to create an offset. So to do this, we press Control D to backstep and we're going to use the Grow Shrink section of our control panel up here. So if we want to grow it, we need to put a positive number in here. I'm working in millimeters at the moment. So if we put on... Oh, say a we go for 30 millimeter offset positive grows it and negative shrinks it so now when we fill it'll add a 30 millimeter offset all the way around so there we go so when we use the fill tool it creates a new path and puts it on top of everything else so we need to get our selection tool now and we just need to come up and click on the drop to the bottom and it'll put our um, selected path to the bottom so if we change that make it a little bit darker so we can see it easy so there's our offset or our border for our first cat so let's move on to the next one so this one's got a solid background so for this one we're going to use the background color so if we come up we get our bucket tool we're going to change the alpha tan channel back to visible color i think we change the threshold to 30 and when we use the the bucket tool it works on the screen's resolution so you want to have your image if you want it to be accurate you want to have the image you're working on to be within the limit of the screen but as big as possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spin this around 90 degrees so if we come down the bottom here this r stands for rotation so if we stick in 90 degrees we can flip it on its side we drag it down so it's roughly in the middle and then i'm going to zoom in just move it up slightly Ah, that'll do us. So now I'm going to try and fill this um, outside colour. Oh, hold on. We better take away our grow and shrink. We don't want that. So we fill our outside colour. Now if we zoom in, we've got a very slight um, outline, but it's mostly filled. If you've got any, any large areas, let's zoom in a little bit more. So if we've, you've got a few areas that are a little bit larger, what you can do is hold down shift and then select those areas and we can fill some of these in so when we do this holding down shift just makes it union to the selected path a little bit of time there so i'm not going to be too fussy about this so you can see if you take a bit of time is there any big areas that we want to get rid of hold down shift and we try and get rid of that bit in there and maybe that out a bit there so we call that a day, I think. So I'm going to zoom back out. So now we've we've got our outline. Our path is the outside. So how do we make it, convert it, so we've got a path that covers our cat? The way we're going to do this is we're going to get our selection tool and we're going to come up to path and down to break apart. Now what's happened is it's taken all of the subpaths, so the section that was cut out in the middle which was our cat and it separated it so if we now just click off 
we click on this outside section, press delete, and we're left with our inner section. So I'm going to, with my um, selection tool, I'm going to drag over a box over the top of all those. So it selects everything that's in there. Then I'm going to come up to path, down to union, to union any of those little things together now. So this is a solid shape. And what I'm going to do this time, let's get rid of our rotation so we're back around how we should be. What I'm going to do this time is instead of using this as a border, I'm going to use it as a clipping path. So to do that, with it on top, I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to select the image behind, and then I'm going to come up to Object, Clip, Set. So what that's done is it's it's masked the area that wasn't um, within our path. So this is a non-destructive way of removing sections of your image. So we can actually go back up to Object, Clip, and we can release. So then if we click off, we can drag away our mask and we've still got the two separate um, elements. So I'll press Control Z just to put it back where it was. Hold Shift, select the image, come up to Object and down to Clip, Set. So that's how we can use our fill tool to get rid of a solid background. Moving on. So this time our background is in a solid color. It's a gradient. So we're going to deal with this in the same way. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over. I'm going to rotate it so we can make it as big as possible. So we change it to 90. We're going to zoom in. So that's a nice size. So I'm just going to change this back down to five. But this time I'm going to drag over the areas that we want to fill. When you use the drag tool, you really want to drag from darker colors to lighter colors, tends to have a better result. So what I am going to do though, is I'm going to drag up and I'm going to drag it around our cat, making sure I don't touch him, just so we can get all of these areas. Sometimes if it goes into nooks and crannies, it doesn't always pick it up. So that way we've, we've picked up all the different colors. But as you can see, we've got a little bit of a border there. So we could change the threshold so let's put the threshold up to 30. Press Control Z to get rid of that. And we'll have another go, but we do exactly the same. So we drag around our cat to make sure we get all the bits and bobs. Making sure we don't touch our cat. And we just go right round and up into here to make sure we get all the bits and bobs. And that's done a much cleaner job at cutting away the background. So I'm going to turn the rotation, change the rotation back to zero, so back around the right way. I'm going to zoom out, so I'm going to press my negative key or minus key. So now we've got the background selected, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. So I'm going to come up to um, path, I'm going to come down to break apart, so it breaks the sub path away from the outside. I'm then going to come up to Actually, if we get our selection tool, we can see the outlines or the the uh, bounding boxes. I'm then going to come up to actually click on the outside, click on the outside section and press delete. So now we've got the sub path only. So now we've got this sub path, which is the outline of our cat. We're going to use it for two things. Firstly, I want to use one copy of it to act as a clipping mask to get rid of our background. And then I'm going to use a second copy which we're going to offset to create a border around the outside. So to do that, we need two copies. So I'm going to press, with it selected, I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. I'm then going to hold down Shift, select the image, and I'm going to use the first copy to as a clipping mask. So we come up to Object, down to Clip, and Set. So we've now got rid of our background. So we're now left with the second copy of our filled area on top of our cat. So this one I'm going to use as a border. So to use this as a border, we need to offset it. So I'm going to use, if I come up to path, down to dynamic offset, and we get this diamond. So if we drag on this diamond, we can stretch it to whatever size offset we want. Now, we need to convert it back to a proper path. So to do that, I'm just going to come up to Path, Object to Path, and that sets it as a path. 
we can then get our selection tool. We now need to drop this shape behind our cat. So we're just going to come up and we're going to drop it to the bottom. And there we have it. So we've taken away our graduated background and we've added an offset border. So moving on. So what's this one? I think this is a PNG. We're going to do this one slightly differently. So again, we're going to create a border around the outside, but this border is going to keep the color that we've got as the background. So we're going to have an offset, but it's going to be colored the same as the original color that's on this image. So I'm going to do this slightly differently. Because we've got a black outline all the way around our cat, I'm going to use that black outline to create our clipping mask. So we're going to get our fill tool. We do our rotation trick again to get as much in the picture as possible. So we spin it around, we drag it up, we press our plus key to get as much in the image as possible. So up the top, we've got our fill by set to visible color. We've still got a threshold of 30. I think we'll leave that. Grow shrink, we've currently got it at zero. We can have a little test run, see how it turns out, and then we can add a border on afterwards. And we've got our close gaps set to none. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna click on this black. And that's done quite a good job of selecting the outline of our cat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back step and I'm gonna stick on an offset. So say we go for, should we go for quite a large offset of 50? So we can see a nice amount of the color. So let's press Control Z to undo our selection. We grab our grow shrink, change it to 50 millimeters. So now if we come in, select our black outline and it's put an offset on that, that line of 50 millimeters, which has given this nice border. So it's done quite a good job of putting this border around our cat, but we've got all these holes. So what we're going to do is fill these holes. So to do that, I'm going to get my selection tool. While our um, outline of our cat or our offset is selected, we're going to come up to path. We're going to come down to break apart. So this is split it. So each of the holes is a subpath in its own right. Now we've got all the subpaths separate. We're going to come up to um, path union to union them all together. So now we've got this this solid shape. We're going to use this as a clipping mask. So if we hold shift, select the image behind, and then we can come up to object clip set. So what that's done is cut a roll, cut away the rest of the background. So it's left us with this nice colored border. Let's turn it around the right way and we can see all of them. Change that back to zero. We come out a bit, move it back over. So as you can see, we've now got this offset, but it's got the original color of the background. So I think that, that covers all our different options. We've just added a, an offset border to a PNG image that has a transparent background. We've removed the background from this one. We've removed the background and added a offset border of our own color and in this one we've used the background color and used a clipping mask to remove the sections of the background that we don't want so hopefully that's covered everything i hope you found it helpful thanks for watching see you next time